Now dozens of those children housed in the tent city in Tornillo, Texas, where I caught up with lawmakers and groups marching on Father's Day. Holding signs, waving the American flag, demonstrators sending a strong message. We're here to, to bear witness and, and now to testify to our fellow Americans about what's going on here and what it's going to take to make this right. Marching side by side to the Tornillo Port of Entry. You don't have to have children to empathize with the situation. You, you need to be with your loved ones. El Paso Congressman and Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke, who helped lead the march, says a show of supporters is a huge indication that these children are not alone. This is not right. This is cruel. This is inhumane. This is torture to take kids away from their parents. And kids specifically who are fleeing violence and terror and death in the first place in their home country, whose parents literally took their lives into their own hands to travel 2,000 miles to be here. Hundreds of people from across the country came out in support of the children housed in the so-called tent city, including Congressman Joe Kennedy. Poverty and a government legislation being introduced this week aims to end the practice of family separation. I'm going to implore and engage and encourage my colleagues, regardless of party, right? This is not a, a Democrat or Republican issue. Uh, all of us have to stand up and do the right thing. From 90 last week to now more than 200. The number of children housed in these white tents expected to continue rising. Those who we stand and fight for today, the stories of our own families. According to Congressman Will Hurd, currently only unaccompanied boys are being housed in the tents. The Diocesan Migrant and Refugee Services also tells us the tents have air conditioning, beds, showers, and a recreation area outside.